What's up, everybody? It's Monday. Let's get this week started. So, Ty, it's Monday. Still on the truck. What's going on with it today? Right now, I am having to modify these brackets to bolt the Holly fuel rails to the Holly intake. Interesting. Yeah. After that, I'll have to make spacers. Fuel system should be pretty much wrapped up, minus a couple of sensors. Heck yeah. Purple People Eater's getting a motor and transmission swap. motor going into that purple people eater truck i don't even know why i'm calling it that this is purple it's gonna be looking like the joker this thing's pretty sweet and it ty she's green green how's it looking over on your project what you got going on over there uh yeah <laughs> yeah time last time. It's Tuesday. Race car. Soli, the race car is back in action. It's 
performing pretty well. What are you thinking? Yeah, it's doing really well. It made, what was it, 856 or whatever it was? 858. 858, that's 11 pounds of boost, 11.4 pounds of boost. So, their motor's definitely making a little more power than 053 was. So everything's looking good. We had a crank sensor issue. We're losing crank sensor. I just put a new crank sensor in it and it seems to fix it. I revved her all the way out, about 6,800 right there. So, seems to be doing good. We'll keep creeping up on the boost. I'll turn it today. Maybe 18, 20 pounds of boost, about all I'll run on the dyno. Should, should make over a thousand. So, lifted the head on the race car, made 999.8 horsepower, couldn't break the 1000 horsepower mark on that pull, which kind of sucks, but nice. Comp thumper cam headers. Does this thing even have a cold air intake on it? The stock air box. It's got some popping, but stock air box. Factory exhaust besides the headers. How much power you reckon this one's gonna make? I'm gonna say 380, 400. That it's probably reasonable. I don't. I don't know nothing about these camshafts. The thumper cam. Comp something. Yeah, I don't know nothing about them. I don't know what lifts, no duration,
day. I don't start the videos off at the house much anymore, but yesterday we got the new exhaust put on as you saw. It's a lot quieter in here. I'm kind of scared that rattling what's it looking like today Lee yesterday we had some a mishap with the race car want to go in on that yeah I ended up lifting the head on like 23 pounds of boost happens race car stuff it made 1109 horsepower so this is making a little bit of heat but it shouldn't lift the head on 23 pounds so we'll pull it apart, see what happened there. I believe it to be a fastener failure. Um, get some better stuff put in it. That's all we can do there. Worst news, the dyno's broken. I don't know what's going on with it. I had a G8 on here yesterday and the dyno was wigging out. It did not like it. So we gotta fix that first. Let's get into a time lapse of the purple truck. Purple people leaders getting getting pretty close to fire up. Thursday. We've got a C6 Grand Sport stop coming in for a tune. C6 Grand Sport Centennial car. Of course, a carbon intake. What that C6 made. Not bad at all. Trading out the laptop for some screwdrivers today, huh? Kicking old school. 
<laughs> we already did one pull on this. What did it make? 302 or something? Yeah, 30 something, yeah, 300. 300 wheel is what it made. Not bad for a 383 Gen 1 small block. What do you think final numbers on this were going to be? I said 280, but uh, we're already past that. I uh, probably won't pick up too much. Um, just make sure the air fuel's right and we'll go from there. numbers on that truck pretty solid so ty you guys got this thing fired up finally what's going on with it well um but uh after i finish uh installing the gauges i'm about to uh tap into the uh fuel uh sending unit now to run up to the gauges so that the uh, fuel gauge will work uh, on the gauges there in the cluster. Um, other than that, I've got to run a 12 volt switch off the Holly Trans uh, harness. And uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> but there's progress being made, visible progress. It's Chipping getting away. close. Chipping away. Chipping also, I've got to pick up the drive shaft here in a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just went and uh, had me a good cry, so uh, <laughs> just, uh, just moving along. I'm going to go pick up that drive shaft. Someone left the windows down in the shop truck. It's a little bit wet in here. Feeling kind of humid. Let's get it. Oh, faithful. Package secured. It's thundering, lightning, carry on, raining, everything. What radio station y'all tune into? We're on 97 on the river. Atlanta's classic hits. And not much else happened after, uh, after we got the drive shaft. Pretty lame way to end off this week's video, but it has been a pretty good week. 
not sure how this footage is going to turn out. About to start editing this video. So if you're seeing it, give it a thumbs up. We're trying. We're recording a lot more here lately. Hopefully, if it's not raining tomorrow, I have probably one of the coolest photo shoots I've ever done. So I'm going to pray that it's not raining. But next week, hopefully, we will have the OBS LS swap finished up and ready to go. And I think we're going to have a lot of cool stuff on the dyno. But anyways, see you guys next week.